Welcome, welcome Virgos. Let's see what's in store for you guys in the month of April. This is for sun, moon, and rising. What present gift for Virgos and soulmate in the month of April? Present gift. Hmm. So, I see whoever you're connected to, you're wondering if this is the right choice or if you're going to feel alone. Have trust in it. What energies will be taking place for Virgos and soulmate, sun, moon, and rising in the month of April? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Wow. Okay. Whenever you get a chance, Virgos, look at Capricorn's reading. You have a little bit of similarities here. Just a little bit. What is your divine message? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, you go. You might you might be dealing with a Capricorn, or someone that has a boss like energy, definitely. So, Virgos, you're looking at what you want to connect to, what you want to feel a communion with. What do you feel sacred? When it comes to another person, you have faced a lot of things in your life, Virgos, by yourself. Always being the alpha or omega, always being the one to take charge, to set the path. And while doing that, it at times made it feel or may have been experience of being painful, of always setting the, the path. But you know what? Who you are, you are destined to move people, to navigate them. And you had to experience abandonment. You had to experience what it feels like to be isolated from the world, to be exiled, to be excused. And it, it sounds crazy, but you are a conqueror. You are a leader. You are a natural born leader. You are a pathfinder. So, while being that, your love life may have felt like it's been in jeopardy because of that, but you want to have trust and faith that however you're moving in the world, your loved one or the person that you do love or that loves you has experienced those same things. So do not fall astray when it comes to your path and what you want to push forward in, what moves you, I should say. Because your loved one is looking at you for that motivation, even if they don't express it at times. So in the month of April, you're going to notice that the person that you may be pushing forward from or through is probably a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But I'm feeling Pisces because of the page of water. It's something about this particular, the letter P is making me think of Pisces. Um, or this person has Pisces in their chart where they're very a pioneer as well. They're a pathfinder just like you. So they, they have, they are very worldly. They have come from different worlds and they use their intuition, their feelings to help navigate the way. Now, Virgos, I know feelings is not your forte at times. Only when, when need be, only when it's needed. You usually like to be grounded and you, you're great at, at critiquing and cultivating and helping others. 
Now it's calling on you to use your intuition. Now it's calling on you to use your feelings. So at times it's going to make you feel isolated because expressing your feelings can feel embarrassing, but it's not. In fact, it's what people want to embrace from you. So use your artistic or use the arts to give you that that oomph to practice your feelings because when you create that's when your feelings are the most heightened so if you're wondering if being artistic or using the arts is a, a good way to express your feelings it will be because from that you're going to have an opportunity and this can be in again in regards to this water sign and how you express your feelings when you do that talk to them talk to them what you want in the world talk to them what you think or what you feel worth is what do you want to have new in your life what do you want to make new again what do you want to make in your world and you'll come to the same conclusion that either this person you're very you're the opportunity it seems yeah virgos you're the opportunity and as opportunity you may think that this person may come off as um immature or like um, a person that still needs experience but again I just said they come from different worlds as well and they're very earthbound like you they just present themselves accordingly to whatever's in front of them so that would explain why you may have felt a little weary about expressing your emotions when you express your emotions this person is going to, again, see things are looking up. And the end of a difficult situation, take a trip. Yeah, they're going to start coming to you because of what you talked about to them. Maybe they needed that, your totality, your truthfulness. From you being truthful, then they're going to start to seek you out in the world. They're going to, to them, you're their wish fulfilled. But they're not going to take the first step until they see you take the first step. You're used to doing it, Virgo, soulmate. So why is this particular situation so off-putting for you? It's because you know you and this person have a lot in common. They bring out your fire. They bring out your passion. They bring out your potency when it comes to your root chakra so and even your solar yeah they are very synchronized to you virgo now this can be a sagittarius or another virgo like yourself that has water in their chart and air in their chart gemini aquarius libra so they're very articulate they know how to talk the way you do they're very tedious on <laughs> how they tally mark their emotions. But nonetheless, they do express their emotions. So do know from you telling them the truth about how you feel about them, they will come to you with more enjoyment, with more wanting to spend more time with you. They might even show you that they spend quiet time alone in solitude and they might take you to their sacred spaces that they they feel moved by and this is something new this person that's in your world are they're going to take you to places that are very sacred to them meaning they don't really take anybody there they take someone that they feel very special or feel at one with to these places so this is their this may be their way of showing you how much you mean to them is by taking you to sacred places that are sincere to them. And if you're wondering if the places that they take you is it sincere, ask them, well, what is this place to you? Or I'm I'm intrigued about this place. I've never seen this place before. If you have seen it before, it could be a certain area that they're taking you. Maybe they take you to a park and it's a secluded area, a, a, a place in the park where not too many people know about. Yet, your partner knows about this place though and they will tell you why. And from this, you will see that you 
have a lot in common. You have made a lot of changes in your world and so have they. And now you get to show that to each other responsibly, that they're more responsible. Maybe they started off young at heart. Now they're mature. They still have that young of heart, but they, they have some scars and some bruises too that they can share with you as well. Mentally, they're going to start implementing a success or start talking about them success. Maybe you're wondering if from you not hearing from them or from you parting ways with them, did it help them in any way? And it did because they're becoming a person of power because of you pushing them away. You're seeing that you are very diplomatic. Again, from you being isolated, being abandoned, always having to take the, the high road or take the road alone by yourself has created you to be very diplomatic and you're going to have relationships that are fair. You get a fair deal this time. For Virgos and soulmate, I think that is virtuous and victorious indeed. And these are things that are both you and a seventh house. Now, this can be also a Libra or they have Libra in their chart. That would explain that ace of air. They're very analytical. They're very level-headed. So it may have made you feel a little lukewarm on should I tell them how I feel or should I not? Because they may come off as a person that has it all together. But they're just like you. They just know how to disguise it better. Or they just know how to disguise it in a way that you can't detect it. Let me say it that way. Behind the scenes, though, you're becoming more balanced with your emotions. So don't be concerned about your feelings because your feelings, when you express it, it's going to sound very equal, equally fair, equally balanced. And you're going to get that cooperation, okay? Your partner's your partner is feeling the same way you are. How they feel about you behind the scenes is they see that you are their destiny, that you are where you are going. Wherever you go, that's where they want to go. Your career is also not a conflict to them. It is actually what makes them feel connected to you is your career. So that was felt earlier by keep going in your path. Because the way you keep going in your path is giving them momentum to move in their path, which is similar to yours. You just have to keep steady, okay? If this reading resonates with you, press the like button, share, and subscribe. If you would like to donate to Kiki's Doorway channel, look at the description box below. Or if you would like to get a more personal reading on how this correlates to you personally, look in the description box below on how to contact me and how we can commune together. I love you. I love you. I love you, Virgos and soulmates. We will see you on the other side.